In this video, we will talk about Ethernet doesn't have a valid IP configuration. We will talk about the method and the steps you have to use to fix your problem. And I'm pretty sure your problem will get fixed by following our methods. So watch the complete video. Method 1. Change adapter setting. Click on Windows icon. Click on Settings. On the left hand side, you will see Network and Internet. Click on it. Here you will see Advanced Network Setting. Click on it. In the Ethernet, click on this arrow and here you need to click on Edit in More Adapter Options. Once you'll be on Ethernet Properties page, you need to select Internet Protocol version 4. Afterward, click on Properties. You need to set these options to obtain an IP address automatically for IP address and for DNS server addresses. If you want to add a public DNS server like Google or Cloudflare, then do let me know in the comment section. I will tell you how you can add the public DNS server on this setting. After setting it up, click on OK and close it. Restart your computer. This will help you out to fix your problem. For Windows 10 user, press and hold Windows icon key and then press I. And afterward, you will see settings. Here you need to click on network and internet. Click on change adapter options. Once you'll be here, you will see the network information here. Select it and do a right click and click on properties. Once you'll be in here, then select your internet protocol version 4, click on properties and you need to do the same thing here as well. Afterwards, click on OK, close and restart your computer. Method 2. Restart router and PC. In this method, you have to restart your computer along with the modem. And when you press the power button to restart your router, just wait for a while. And after like 10 seconds, you need to restart your computer. Simply click on Windows icon and click on power icon and restart your computer. Method 3. Reset and flush DNS cache. Here you need to follow some command to reset and flush the DNS cache on your PC. You need to do the same thing for Windows 10 and for Windows 11. So here you need to type CMD in search and select run as administrator. Click on yes. Here you need to type the commands. I'm showing you all the command on your screen. You can type that in or either you can copy all the command given in the description. After typing all of the command, simply restart your computer by clicking on Windows icon and click on Power icon and restart your computer. Method 4. Network reset is just an optional which I am adding on this video just to check if that helps you out to fix your problem or not. So let's reset the network. Click on Windows icon. Click on Settings. On the left hand side, click on Network and Internet. Here you need to click on Advanced Network Settings. Click on Network Reset. And here you need to click on reset now and click on yes. This will reset your network and afterward this will show you that your PC is gonna restart in 5 minutes. So just simply restart your computer to check if this helps you to fix your problem. If you are a Windows 10 user, you need to do the same thing. Click on Windows icon and click on gear icon on the left hand side and open the settings or either you can press the Windows icon and then I and you will see network and internet option up there. You will be on this screen and you will get this option. Afterward, you will get the option on the bottom of that setting, Network Reset and click on Reset Now. So that's how you can fix Ethernet doesn't have a valid IP configuration. I hope our method and step will help you out to fix your problem. Make sure to leave your feedback in the comment section. So that's all for today. Thanks for watching.